If you need to see or export your YouTube subscribers list, I'm going to show you how to do this using the official YouTube Studio or the YouTube API so you can download your subscriber list into a CSV file and analyze what other content your target audience consumes. The first step is to have a mildly successful YouTube channel like mine. Wow, I just hit 9,000 subscribers. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. To see who these people are, I go to studio.youtube.com. As a creator, you've probably been here. And under the dashboard, scroll down and you'll see a card called Recent Subscribers. But don't let the name fool you. It's not limited to only the last 90 days. They added functionality here when you click See All. You can now go and change the time range in this upper right hand corner to lifetime. I don't believe this was here before. And you can now scroll through all of your subscribers who make their subscriptions public. Not everyone does. And you can order by the date in which they subscribe so you can see who your recent subscribers are or keep it as a default which sorts by their subscriber count so you can see what popular channels are subscribed to you. And what's great is YouTube allows you to keep paginating this through until the end so you can scroll through all of them. Unfortunately though, there's no export button. YouTube Studio is pretty good about giving you export buttons, but not on this page. But instead, we can scrape this using HAR files. First, reload the page so you get a fresh page. Scroll down and click See All. Now change the rows per page to 50 to make your life easier. But before you change the time range, right click on the page and hit Inspect. This will now begin recording your network traffic so we can record the data that YouTube sends you. Now that we're recording, go ahead and change the time range to lifetime so you capture everybody. Now YouTube sent to your browser raw JSON data, we can see if we type in list under this filter. This is the raw data populating this list in the UI. There are two collections here we want, subscribers, which shows us the channel ID, as well as the Unix timestamp of when they subscribed. But the more interesting data is up here under creator channel data, that will not only give us the channel ID, but the name of the channel, which we can verify here matches the UI in YouTube Studio, and we also get popularity metrics. So here I can see the subscriber count, 465K, that matches the UI, but we also get some bonus fields not shown on YouTube Studio, like the total view count for that channel. That's a very big number, and the number of videos for that channel. So we can quickly get an additional set of metrics on how popular these channels are that are subscribing to us. And the last bit of data we get are these URLs to the person's thumbnail if you need that for some reason. So if I copy this, I can get a somewhat high resolution photo of this person's YouTube profile picture. Now to get all of the subscribers, we simply scroll down and click the next button and have YouTube send us more data now that we're recording. This is sped up. I am just legally using YouTube Studio. I'm not using any automation or software or anything. So this does not violate the YouTube Studio terms of service. I managed to get to about 2,500 subscribers out of my 9,000, sorry, 9,002 because everybody counts, which gives me a ratio of only about 28% of you guys are sharing your subscriptions publicly. So the vast majority, about 70% of you guys, keep your subscriptions private, which is fine. I just won't get to analyze you. Anyway, click this arrow here called Export HAR under the Network tab. This is gonna download a file containing all of this data from the YouTube API with the subscriber's information in it. This can get very large, and sometimes the browser exported as zero kilobytes, so make sure that you actually have some data in here. Here I got about 200 megabytes. If it's zero kilobytes or you run into this issue, you wanna scroll through maybe say 2500 like I did, export the HAR file, then hit this clear button here to reset it, and then keep scrolling through the next 2500, save a new HAR file and repeat it so they'll have multiple HAR files for each batch of 2500 or so. It's not great, but hey, it works. Now to parse this HAR file, I'm putting a link in the description to my HAR file web scraper. This will parse any HAR file, so this won't just work with YouTube Studio, hint, hint. Drag and drop it there, and it's gonna parse it out. It may take a while because it's a little bit big, and bam, it parsed out all of the subscribers from this list creator public subscribers endpoint, six megabytes worth of data. And wow, that's a lot of people who have seen my face or heard my annoying voice. And below are the raw API requests we made to the YouTube API. So here we have 51 requests and you can download each of these raw JSON bits on your own totally for free without paying or signing up. But if you wanna download this as a CSV file, go up here and click parse group. You can sign up for a free account and lets you download up to 10 rows of data per day, but we have 2,500, so we're gonna to need to download a little bit more than that. And here each of the columns, we have the title of each channel, the channel ID, so we can look it up on YouTube or use the YouTube data API to look up details. And here are the popularity metrics. We get the number of subscribers for each channel that subscribed to me, 
the video count of that channel, and the total view count of that channel. And we can then download all this as a single CSV file containing all 2,500 rows. And what's nice about this view count metric for the channel is we can quickly spot somewhat suspicious accounts. This guy has 14 views on two videos, yet somehow has 5,500 subscribers. Learn and earn money skill. Okay. So let's copy his channel ID and check him out on YouTube. I go to youtube.com slash channel, and then I paste in the ID after the last slash. So this looks like a bot account in my opinion. I'm not making any allegations. If it has this many subscribers, but like 14 total views, this does not look real. All right, so that's great. But you can also do this through the YouTube data API. So this has certain pros and cons I want to discuss briefly. So this used to be a lot better where they would actually let you download all of your subscribers if you sent this my subscribers flag to true. However, they changed it a few years ago and now they updated the documentation. Note the maximum number of subscribers returned to the API might be limited. Yeah, they limit it to a thousand and it's a random set of subscribers that doesn't really add any value unless you're a small channel. What I suggest you do instead is you can use this my recent subscribers flag. This will give you the recent ones. It'll cut it off at a thousand but you can call this periodically if you want to keep tabs on your subscribers. So from here, you can do that with this API documentation and have fun. But if you want a no code solution, check out the link in the description, the other one, as this will query that endpoint on your behalf using your API OAuth token and get your list of subscribers from that endpoint. Again, it'll be capped to a thousand, but it will be the most recent ones. The catch is you need to provide a special OAuth token, which is separate from a regular API token. So I have this page here that's linked in the other page. So you basically need to go to this playground, give it read-only access, select your YouTube account with your channel, and then allow it. And then you click this blue button here called exchange, and then you copy the, the field in the access token, then paste your access token in here, and we'll query this endpoint on your behalf with my recent subscribers set to true and parse out the data for you into a downloadable CSV file like this one. While it only gives you a thousand, the benefit is that you can see the bio of each subscriber. So this helps me quickly figure out who my target audience is. Me personally, I'm looking for business owners looking to leverage data. So anyone that's trying to start a business I'm interested in, and I can copy their YouTube channel ID, which I could also do from the previous R file scrape we did from YouTube Studio. And I can look up details about that subscriber, like what other channels are they subscribed to? You're gonna see a lot of irrelevant other channels like dough recipes, news, skincare, etc. But when you have a CSV file of all these channel descriptions, you can search within it. I'm just gonna do it in the browser. So I wanna look for marketing channels because that's sort of what I'm covering. So perfect, this one talks about SaaS, which is what I do. So I wanna take a look at this guy's channel because one of my subscribers is also subscribed to this guy, Eddie, and he talks about marketing and SaaS. So I scroll to the right and look for this resource ID, channel ID. Don't use the snippet one, that's all gonna be the same. Copy this and then load it into a new browser and I can check out this guy's channel. And perfect, he's also a small creator with about 2,000 subscribers, 13 videos. So I may wanna keep subscribed to this person and see what else he's talking about because one of my subscribers was interested in his content. Now, of course, when you have enough data, you can do this at scale. If you want me to talk about that, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.